What's good, baby? We're here with Baj, Tommy. What's up, gang? How we doing? Hey. Introduce yourselves. Basically, I used to be fat. And that was about it. That's all I've done in my life. <laughs> that dude's pretty cool. Tommy, I used to be a skinny kid, bulked up real heavy in college, started posting fitness content, and now this is what I do for a living, OCB Pro. Well, how long ago did you compete? Six months ago. I was like a couple weeks out when you were competing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember going through prep at the same time and I DM'd you once or twice, asked yeah, you something yeah. like about your prep. That shit That's rough. Natty preps ain't easy. If you decide to hop on a bodybuilding stage, you have to actually put yourself through hell. If you're not suffering, then you're not you're not doing it right. You're not gonna look good compared to your other competitors. You gotta suffer for that shit. If you're just like trying to be on some David Goggins shit and you want a challenge, I probably wouldn't compete in a bodybuilding show unless you actually like it. Nah, bro, do 75 hard. <laughs> Because it's like you compete, you get peaked and ready, but what it takes to get there, just the recovery phase after, bro, it takes like another fucking three to four months yeah, before I, you feel normal and have like normal tests and get bone dogs in the morning and shit and feel like functional. I only saying? started feeling normal again about a month and a half ago, two months ago, after competing for that long. I had to get my diet back on track after the show, which I refused to do because I was just like, fucking, I'm not competing anymore. I'm gonna eat so yeah. much food. And then uh, I finally got back on track with my meals. And then I started only feeling like good again, like two months ago, maybe. Yeah, the fucking human animal in you wants to fucking Literally have broke. sex with food because it's been so malnourished for so fucking long. What was, I was your first post-show meal? Yeah, donuts. Oh. Well, for the first show. Oh, the first one? Yeah, we murked some donuts. The other one was, ste <laughs> it was Steakhouse, right? Yeah, we yeah. went to a sweet-ass steakhouse. Ruth's Chris, uh -huh. you ever been there? Oh, uh, yeah. We treated ourselves, treated the homies. Yeah. You competed too, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. I just remember more of his shit because Tommy, bro, he was like, dude, you want to come with us to McDonald's after? And I'm like, your first meal? And then not only that, but we went to Golden Corral after. Oh my God, bro. Oh. Okay, that was second meal post show, but technically counts as the first thing because it was within like a six hour span. I crushed seven plates at fucking Golden Corral. I had like steak and mashed potatoes. I had tacos. I had like ice cream. I had everything that I wanted as a craving just out the gate. What's that dookie like? That's gut destruction, bro. Oh, dude, I took some gut subs. That workout the next day, that was the craziest chest pump I've ever had in my oh, entire yeah, life. All the sodium and nutrients and shit. Bro, I had a dig for that shit. Really With the training, it's kind of changing. I'm still doing some of the heavy duty principles, high intensity training, but I'm starting to add a couple more sets to smaller muscle groups. Things that I feel like can get more work, especially shoulders, biceps things like those I can do multiple sets of those to complete failure I'm not really doing any of the partials or momentary failure to complete failure I'm just going till I can't and then controlling that last eccentric so all-out failure controlled failure full range of motion all that jazz and then you control that eccentric lean into the pain and feel it I'm doing day for day so I do training rest day train rest day and it doesn't matter sometimes I train on a Tuesday sometimes I train on a Monday it kind of mixes it up for myself but we got a little bit of legs a little bit of shoulders and a little bit of biceps today the full split is it's pretty much a b days so i have some legs some shoulders some biceps on that a day and then i might do a smaller muscle group like traps forearms calves things of that nature and then on my b days i'll do a little bit of chest back and a little bit of triceps and on each day it'll be emphasis on certain muscle groups so on one chest and back day i might do more chest sets and on the other day i might do more back sets and chest vice versa same with the legs i might do more hamstring on one day and on the other day i'll do more quad focused i kind of switch around different movements for biceps different positionings i'm able to train each muscle twice a week when before i was kind of training a muscle and then waiting around for shit to happen i feel like you can train your side delts and biceps to complete failure much more than just once every six to seventh day like it ended up being for myself i went back to the drawing board and i'm like frequency is king but just make sure you're recovering while training to complete failure. It's kind of like a weird balance ratio that you have to figure out for yourself because not everybody has the same recovery. What's your guys' splits like? Chest, back, arms, rest, legs, start over. So I rest every three out right now. So whatever doesn't <laughs> this really fool, hurt this that fool day. Is grind mode 24 7. I have no, I worked out with this fool and this dude, like, he's nuts. Whatever is not feeling the worst that day from Yeah, you'd be killing on the fucking Stairmaster and shit, though. I go straight to the that. biceps. I mean, that's what I've learned. Every I'd be seeing time. the videos and you're like, can you flip it? It's all 9999. Nine, nine, nine. All right, Ayo, what are we starting with? Legs. Some fun shit. Great question, Dick. Alrighty, we made our way over to hamstring curl. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna rock some leg press. 
We're gonna warm up the knees a little bit, the hamstrings. You get cushioning for the pushing in before the leg pressing. We got two sets instead of just one set. I've been upping it on hamstrings, shoulders, biceps, triceps, like smaller muscle groups. I can get away with multiple sets. I've been trying that out. I'm still progressing and I'm still able to recover from every session. I'm heavy right now. Mommy needs a pump. hit fucking beyond failure then drop that shit and then hit it again leg press put your feet as low as you can on the platform without your heels raising up and go all the way fucking down the more stretch you can get with knee flexion the better hypertrophy you're going to get none of the fucking that's not doing anything your goal is to scrape your nutsack on the platform that's full range milk it at the bottom the stretch is good okay stretch is good remember Yes, Unc. What I've been doing, I don't rest at the top until I really need to, like those last couple reps. I might go until I can't, and those last two reps I might pause at the top, and you don't want to waste too much time. And Plus, the burn will feel good, and you'll get a sick, nasty pump, but I do like one warm-up, and then we'll do working weight. I just have one, one set for this and then two for the hamstring curls, but like I said, shoulders and biceps. It's like I can still train shoulders and biceps and they're still fresh. I'm not like completely wrecked to the point where I can't fucking go like this and this. So it's good to pair that with leg days, but like chest and back and stuff, I would be too wrecked to, yeah. It's yeah. rear delts on back day, side delts on. They recover so much faster than I think people think compared to like when you fuck up your chest or back, like it'll take a lot longer to recover yeah, that. This whole left side right now is fucked up. I got fucking massaged by a line backer to fix that shit. <laughs> I was like, damn. What's your main problem? My left side, she just... <laughs> she just lathering me up. <laughs> Lavender candle after that shit, dude. <laughs> Are they like ultra rare? Those shit? Yeah, so like, like on those shoe websites, they go for yeah. like 200. Damn! Yeah. It's like waiting for my fucking heart rate to calm down, bro. I can't. That's it's what like, I feel. like, press is cardio and muscle building at the same time, bro. Yeah. I'm gonna set it just before the middle. Because there's been some literature about weighted stretch being more beneficial than contraction training. So, like I said, the full range, milk the bottom. The weighted stretch is your friend, and it will build you more muscle. Half reps just fucking build your ego, okay? Nobody cares how much you can fucking chest press. I might be saying that because you probably chest press more than me, and I'm jealous. But you don't get that much benefit of moving 405 pounds for like multiple reps if they look ugly you'd be much more beneficial doing 315 pounds with some sweet ass form feeling it and you'll get a sick pump coming out the other end okay
now for the fun stuff. We got biceps. I'm gonna do straight bar curl, get that sweet contraction at the top, peak supination. I feel like with the easy bar, you can get in the right position and get sick ass bicep work in, but that contraction you feel with the straight bar opposed to easy bar, you're kind of hitting your brachialis more than your actual biceps. You can feel it, go like this. Feel your bicep, twist it, and you can literally feel it shift off of your bicep the more you turn this way. Athlean X, put the fuck in. The shit's right here. Athlean X after his videos in sync, he's like, fucking do this every day. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I figure they might want to do drop sets though, so we'll just do two tens of five and then Baj is crazy ass, probably gonna dump the weights and do crazy ass failure sets. Drag curl, cause like that's a good intensity technique, low key. Like drag curls. Yeah, you hit that after. Yeah. Busting bitches out. So I gotta go to the park. Just corner, do a silent. Do a silent, and you can blame bro. anyone. Go to the park corner, bro, please. Dude, I have to. You know, it's just thank you, bro. They got a filter inside of it. It's more like that, but. <laughs> It's a shoulder inversion after the set that makes you look like you're a fucking brick house. Look at that. That's a bunch of blood and piss inside of there. If you need to get bigger, learn how to piss bend. You said that. OCB pro. OCB pro. Natural body. I'm gonna try to do WMBF, but that show's in Arizona. I'm moving to Arizona. I'll pull up. So. October. Dude, I'll pull up. We'll if see I, when we're competing I'm, I'll next. Also be but competing there in October because I'm gonna do OCB pro debut finals. Oh, is that a pro? Does that have the pro in there? In that OCB show, is there a pro show? Yeah, there's a pro show. Oh, so that'd be sick. So I'm gonna do pro show, then if I qualify, then nationals, and then if I win nationals, then Jordan Cup. Oh, that'll be but sick. we'll see. I gotta get a little bigger. Yeah. 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 How do you guys stand right here? Oh, <gasps> fucking no yeah. Oh, look, I know he did a drop set, look. <laughs> Yo, boogie check, hold up. <laughs> All right, last set. Let's see what you got, big dog. Come on, son. Let's go. Who's gonna carry the boats? And the logs. Come on, Max. Let's go. Come on. Up. Up. Okay. Yes, get up. Get up. Get up. There you go.
post-workout slash intra. I'd be packing, like I said, a so scoop of protein and then a whole gaty, and then I kill it halfway through my workout and then I finish the rest after. Kind of keeps me full, saturated, get the protein in me still as I'm depleting it throughout my workout and refuel the glyco stores and then finish up and we're gonna go home, probably grub. Hit a couple. And then you're going back home, and then we're going to be in L.A. next week. I just wanted to lift in, like, Lex's garage gym. Just see Lex and the twins or something, and we can go and hang out at the Fit Expo all together and shit. And I got a Cinnamon Crunch ice. Has it dropped yet? It drops in, like, a few days. It'll be out. Shit toasty. Okay. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. This shit good. Bye. Bye. Look at that. It's going straight to the hammies, bro. I like that chicken. I've had that chicken. Oh, uh, the regular chicken goes crazy. I haven't had the shredded chicken. We got some veggies. Yup, for the micros. Some mac, some beef, and some more carbs. Sweet potato hash. Yes, sir. It's right after this, we're all going to the table, bro. All of us. It was a surprise. I just get 10K steps, bro. He's going to fucking Everest. Yeah, I'm hiking Everest after my marathon. Yeah, he's just doing that. <laughs> You'll probably see like a little a little reel from it too. Nice. There's a little reel hike in the Himalayas. <laughs> the ball. That's Drew's cardio. <laughs> so I'm a hike Everest this day for cardio. You pace it too. Like I can't imagine that. Yeah. Like he was like, he whenever he's on the phone the other day, he was like, you wanna run a ten mile or ten minute pace? I was like, the fuck hell no. Ten minute pace the whole time. Bro, that's crazy. He's like, I'm gonna hit it after this. <laughs> he came back, he was like, I feel so just like refreshed. I'm like, bro, I would be fucking going to fucking bed, blowing my shit out. Is that Man. runner's high, bro? It's real. When dude. I have ran, the few times I have ran, I feel it after. If, you, if you're going like two mile runs, you're not going to feel it. But once you hit five miles, then you just feel like you don't want to stop. And it's really weird because I hate running. But yeah. like once just I hit that, that point, I'm like, whoa. Just that super light five miles. <laughs> and he's getting there at about like fucking, I mean, 10 minute pace. It's 50 minutes, bro. I mean, this kid's making me look like a fucking fat ass at all times. My runs used to take forever, bro. Like whenever I started when I was fat, we used to time and it was like 15, 16 minute miles. Uh, I'd be stopping in the middle like I'd be getting shin splints bro no, no, my body's too heavy bro. for my shins <laughs> that happened to me in football when I first gained the weight yeah. I tried to go back to playing football because I gained it in the off season like, like the not, first time lifting shin splints bro I could not it was like not adapting are you it was just, like super sore after Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. After I get to like 10 to 12 miles, then I get really sore. I'm pretty sore, but I only ran like five yesterday. Yeah. Like, I just feel like that would take off like my whole body. I wouldn't be able to lift. And I can't be heavy as shit, bro. Y'all under. I, he made me hold that shit, bro. And I was like, this dude's shoulders gotta be fucking maxed. My fucking out. <laughs> hip flexors would be like uh, so inflamed. We're at 1%. Okay. We're at 1%, but I'm a hundo percent this fucking food and then I'll catch out the crib. All right, ladies and gents, that's gonna be a wrap for the video. I will see y'all motherfuckers next week. Until then, peace out, baby.